To make your worlds feel much more alive, we can add NPCs that simply just walk around from point to point and don't have to worry about them attacking you. So let's go ahead and talk about how we can do this using the paths, the AIs, and the NPC spawner. With your world built, let's go ahead and add in the NPC pathing. So to do that, we'll go down into our devices and do a search for path. Go ahead and click and drag one of these into our world. And then we can just duplicate this by holding down Alt and clicking and dragging to go ahead and move these to a new location within our world. Now we do want our NPC to actually make this full loop. So to do that with this selected, we're gonna go ahead and change the patrolling mode from back and forth to looping. Next, we wanna go ahead and change the patrol group path just to make sure that the NPCs that we're assigning to this will only follow this path. So in this case, let's go ahead and set that to three. Next, we'll go ahead and set up our NPCs. So let's go back into our devices and go ahead and do a search for NPC. We'll go ahead and click and drag this NPC spawner into the world. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's nice and close to the path to begin with, but it won't really matter because it will eventually just go ahead and walk over there. Now over here inside of the details panel, we wanna go ahead and create an NPC character definition. So let's go ahead and click on this none drop down right here and go ahead and choose NPC character definition up here at the top to create a new one. Let's go ahead and give it a proper name and save it where we're going to remember it will be. Next, we can go ahead and just double click on this to go ahead and open up that character definition so we can start defining some of its properties. The first property that we see right here is the type. Let's go ahead and choose our guard. For behavior, we'll go ahead and leave this as default. Let's go ahead and move down here to this array of modifiers. The first one is our health modifier. We're not gonna need this, so we're gonna go ahead and just delete that out of there. Our team modifier though, we do wanna come in here and set our team option from index to neutral. This way our NPCs won't try to attack us. The next modifier you see is our cosmetic modifier. Now this is gonna be the default, what it's gonna look like as soon as we add it into our world. So we're gonna change this later, but we'll go ahead and just set something in it for now. And then we'll just go ahead and close it because we're not really gonna need it again. Now let's come up here and click on this button to add a new element to this array. And we're gonna go ahead and change this index two from none to our path patrol modifier. Inside of here, let's go ahead and set this up so that we're always using our group number three which is this path that we created right here. That way, this will ensure that this NPC will follow this third path. Let's again go ahead and add in a new part to this array. And for this index number three, let's go ahead and set this up as our inventory modifier. Now we don't really need to do anything in here at all. And we can go ahead and double check that this can drop loot is set to null, and then the items are set to zero. This way our NPCs won't actually be carrying any items like weapons. With our NPC character definition created, let's go ahead and make sure that we save our work and then go back into our level editor. Now with our NPC selected, we wanna go ahead and change its cosmetic per NPC. And we can do that right here by adding an array element into the additional NPC character modifiers. So go ahead and click on this one right here. And inside of this, we'll change our none to our cosmetic modifier and open this one up. And now we can change each instance of our NPC to be something different, just in case we wanna have multiples that are actually gonna be following along this specific path. The last piece that we wanna go ahead and change is down here on this spawn timer. And we're gonna go ahead and set this value to a value of zero, that way the NPCs will spawn immediately. Unless, of course, that's not what you want for your world. Go ahead and make sure that you save everything, push your changes, and you should now be able to see your NPCs follow that path that you've created. And they should have no weapons, and they shouldn't actually attack anybody. So there you have it. Now you know how to create an NPC that will just wander around inside of your world to give it a little bit more life and they won't be able to attack anybody and because they're not on any teams, they won't have any alliances. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion that you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and just leave a comment down below. We'll get back to you when we can. And of course, don't forget to be clever like and subscribe.